Welcome back to Hillbilly Row and D. So it's uh, it's another Friday night here, and um, putting together uh, an idea of something that uh, I'm wanting to try, which is um, some um, well, they call them rolled tacos. Um, some people call them taquitos, and I don't know. I think there's a couple other names for them, but basically. Um, you're taking uh, either flour or corn um, shells like this, uh, and I think if it's if it's corn, it's called one thing. You know, if it's called if it's if they're flour shells, it's called another thing. But the idea is basically the same. Uh, you um, you know, you're gonna you're gonna fill these you know about a quarter of the way here wrap it over roll it tight kind of like a cigar and um, so I'm gonna make some um, uh, guacamole uh, dipping sauce to go with it and so I got a couple of these and a couple of limes um, got some mild green chilies and probably have you know some garlic in there um maybe well i mean yeah into the uh guacamole sauce and then uh with the chicken meat i got a little uh rotisserie chicken because this is you know uh, where do i put it here it is This is how you get it done quick on a Friday night after work when you got, uh, you know, a little bit of time. Uh, so, you know, sometimes, uh, so anyway, just picked up the rotisserie chicken because, you know, probably you know how it is. You get home from work and uh, trying to put something together and, um, yeah, got to make it, uh, you know, kind of do it quick sometimes. So, anyway, um, getting the little food processor set up here, and I'm um, going to see if I can uh, get this going real quick, and then, um, so I'm going to do the, uh, the guacamole sauce uh, first, and then uh, go out and get the grill lit, and uh, get the, I'm going to use the, the camp Dutch oven again. And uh, just to heat up a little bit of oil. Um, I mean, you know, the, the camp Dutch oven is is uh, pretty big and deep. You know, I'm not going to put that much oil in it. Probably just like a half an inch or something. But um, I don't know. I'm going to try to use that more often than not outside on the grill because that'll be you know if it gets uh, covered with soot, you know, and I got to wash it off. It'll be uh, a little bit different than our, um, you know, cast iron skillets we use in the house most of the time. Although I take those out there and use them when I need to. But um, anyway, uh, I'm going to start this up here. So uh, be back here in just a second. All right, let's see here. Let's start with these avocados. One. Yeah, I love uh, avocado, guacamole. Um, probably have. Uh, I'll probably have more than 
we need for these uh, little taco rolls, I think. But um, we'll see. Um, <clears throat> I mean, if um, we don't use them on the, uh, oops, if we don't use them on the taquitos, uh, then we'll probably use them for chips and dip or anything like that, so. So far, so good. These are coming out pretty, pretty easy. Seem like they're decently ripe. Um, let's see. I got some, um, some garlic cloves here. I'll put some of that in. Uh, let me see. I need to raise this up a little bit so you can see the blender too. <laughs> Try to get all in the shot here, but um, so I'll put some of that in here. Now we're gonna. Um, oops, go this way. Squeeze in a couple lines. Um, sour cream, uh, let's see, so eh, this is about a cup, um, got about a cup of this left. Okay, so let's see. I got a cup of water here. Um, I want it a little bit thinner, you know, than I almost want it like a, almost like a, uh, you know, salad dressing consistency kind of for for this, because um, I want to kind of be able to drizzle it over the top of the uh, the taquitos and some olive oil so i'm just gonna mix this you know give this a, a blend here and see if it needs um and just see if it needs um you know, a little bit more liquid or not, so just see how this goes. Oh, you know, another thing I was gonna put in there. Um, let's see. Put in a little bit of. Uh, Worcestershire. Okay, let's try it again.
Okay, so that's good. Um, yeah, I like that. Um, so now, uh, I gotta get this uh, chicken pulled apart. Get working on that. I gotta clean up uh, this stuff first. All right, so this is the time when I usually kind of leave my water run, <clears throat> excuse me, run in the in the background there because um, this kind of gets messy pulling this chicken apart. But I can just um, you know rinse my hands under the water without having to touch the knob. So anyway, let's see what we got here. There's Sophia. She's she's ready for some. Any little pieces that fall down. Okay, I'm gonna get this uh, skin off of here. Alright, so here we go. We got the, uh, the chicken all pulled apart and chopped up a little bit. So now I just got to go out and get the uh, grill fired up. So that'll be the next, uh, next part. Still new to this whole, uh, you know, the Dutch oven thing, so it's going to take a little getting used to. I'm going to save these. So I got some coals going there, and then I got these that I'm setting aside. Um, you know, in case I need more, I'm just going to close this grill down and um, you know it's just kind of dampened down uh, and that way if I need a little bit more coals I can reach in there get some with my tongs so <clears throat> see how that goes yeah I get the Dutch oven in here heating up So another thing I want to do is I want to get these kind of warmed up so that they're they're easy to roll. So I got the the lid of the uh, Dutch oven turned upside down there, so I can just put those on there. And then um, I got those coals that are kind of standing by in case I need them. And I think I'm gonna try. <clears throat> You know, just letting those warm up in there while I'm getting the um, oil heated up here. So we'll see how that works. All right, well, let's give this a shot. It's uh, I think it's somewhat heated up. I may need some more coals, but we'll figure it out. I'm going to add the uh, chicken in there. Oh, it's, it's cooked. I just need to kind of warm everything up and let it um, just uh, kind of get mixed together a little bit. So... All right, so these are some mild green chilies. Um, I don't think I ever used those before, but it's 
want something to start building some flavor in there and mix that around. Um, A little bit of oil in there, it's pretty true. Yeah, it's kind of mm -hmm. a little moisture. So I'll start with uh, salt, pepper, garlic mix. Cumin. A little sprinkle of that in there. Next. Chili powder. A little bit of that in there. Oregano. Uh, let's see. Chili and lime seasoning. Minced garlic. I put there in garlic press. Okay. So, give that a mix. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, a little bit of. I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken broth just to uh, a whole lot. Just like maybe a few tablespoons or something and uh, then I'll probably let most of that reduce off if I can anyway I just wanted to yeah. so there's a uh, there's a shot of the uh, pulled chicken and um, getting ready to take it out put in a metal bowl here Alright, so here's some uh, sizzling and popping going on, so I think this uh, may be hot enough. And uh, I'm going to give a shot here. Um, cheese on there. Sometimes less is more when you're trying to roll these things up. You just wouldn't think. Yeah, you gotta put the uh, 
the little flap side down there so it seals it. Uh, let's try another one. Stays where it's supposed to. Okay. So I think those are about ready. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out. We're struggling with the with the heat a little bit and the cold and um, with the uh, you know with the with the Dutch oven. Uh, yeah, it's so I might have to uh, get some more coal started and uh, throw them under there. But anyway, we'll keep going. I think these are ready to pull off. Number two. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull those off. These are looking pretty good. I mean, I'm keeping this little towel here because I'm trying to keep them somewhat warm under here. I mean, I can I can uh, turn on the oven inside and and you know warm them back up for ten minutes or something, but. Um, trying to keep them from getting ice cold or something. It's not that, it's about 40, it's getting down in the 30s right now. It's cooled down some, but uh, we'll uh, get ready to make up another batch here. Let's see. All right, I think this, um, this batch is ready to, to take off. Looks good on that side. So, line that up there. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so while that last one is cooking there, I think we're ready to do a taste test. We got some of these that have um, cooled down enough to uh, take a bite of. And I mean, it looks good. Uh, filled with uh, pulled chicken off a of rotisserie uh, chicken. So, and made this uh, guacamole sauce. Let's give it a try, see how it is. That came out good. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> That's good. <laughs> I think uh, Rochelle's going to like it too. You know, I had we had some ground beef and stuff, and we were thinking about, oh, should we make some? You know, half of them ground beef and half of them ground chicken because, you know, that's what Rochelle has to eat is she can't eat the beef and the pork and all that kind of stuff. But so I made it, you know, with the chicken. And wow, it was a good, I mean, rotisserie chicken. I mean, on a Friday night, sometimes I would, uh, you know, I'd do the whole chicken by myself, but, you know, just getting home after work. 
trying to put something together here's how you do it it's uh, not too hard and tastes awesome so I'm gonna try another bite here Mm. Wow. That's delicious. So, man, good stuff. Glad I made that tonight. Never made it before. I mean, the guacamole, uh, diesel peas. It's good. So, it's been fun hanging out on a Friday night, <laughs> getting out here, hanging out with uh, Sophia a little bit. Back here behind the camera, Let's see if we can see her. Look at her, she's waiting for some chicken. <laughs> I gave her a, I already gave her a bunch of chicken, you know, a bunch of bites when I was uh, pulling that chicken off of the uh, off of the bone, but she'll get she'll get a little bit more. So, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching Hillbilly Row and D. Um, it's another nice Friday night. You know, it's like, um, heck, we're in, you know, beginning of February, and um, you know, it's you can see I got I just got a kind of a long sleeve shirt on, a vest, a hat. It's not too terribly cold. And we're just out here enjoying the evening. You know, got some lights on, got some music on. So, appreciate you being here. And uh, we'll catch you in the next episode. Talk to you then.